does happen to shut up. <laughs> Could you do me a favor? Just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I actually... <laughs> My dingle. There we go. Your dingle dongle? My dingle dongle. Okay. Now. You knocked your dealy on the thing. I, don't, I knocked my dealy off of my thing. <laughs> How embarrassing. They told me I was too young. <laughs> For all of us. They told me I needed more training. So, Chad. Huh? What? I told is them going to drop dead. Like, what's happening with you? What's going on in your life? How ironic. They're watching this. Oh, great. Me too. I don't know how I survived. <laughs> you're not watching it, you're living Something it. Something strange oh must God. have happened. I see someone just say left hand milk stout. The answer is yes, that's a good idea. What do you feel like? My pulse is beating like a drum, but my blood is running cold. I'm not sure what's going on, but I came here with a question. And I'm going to find the answer if it kills me. Keep dark beer and stay inside and eat movies. I like it. In case anyone has not seen it, I love it. And the music is fantastic. Someone, so someone that worked on this game tweeted at us today. Oh yeah. I think it's the person that did the music. Oh, that's a good person. Okay, <laughs> Resident Evil Media reviewed Necromancer. I'm a fan of theirs. It's actually grown on me since the review. Yeah. Yeah, because I started playing hardcore mode yeah. more after the other you know, review. <laughs> that's right. Right. And I, I love hardcore mode. <laughs> Jack audio. What? Oh, too loud? Sorry. Do you want to try the, the daily challenge? They're, uh, they're saying that Necrodancer might be a little too loud. Okay. Can you go into the... We can't hear a damn thing. It's too loud. Oh, sorry, guys. Rich took, took over the computer. Right. How is that? Chat. That green line still looks... You might have to turn it down in-game. We're working on it. So I'm gonna have to turn it down in game. I think so. Also, like it's, I can hear it through your headphones. It's just very loud. That is loud. I can hear it. Rich might be going deaf. Deaf. <laughs> Rich, he might be going deaf. He too. might be going deaf. I, I usually don't listen to this in headphones. I usually have my speakers on, sure. and there's a knob yeah. on the speakers. Uh, so, whatever it's set to, I have no idea. Okay. Where options? All right, I'm gonna continue this, and you guys tell me if we're good to go. Yeah, so now you want <clears throat> to turn it up a little bit in OBS. Oh, for crying out loud! Just a little, like a hair. Just like a hair. <sighs> Octo J, it's too late to say it's fine now. <clears throat> we're already fucking with it's, it. I didn't touch it yet. If it's fine now, okay, it's fine. Hold on. Okay, we're, we haven't touched it in a while. How do we feel about this? I'm waiting for a mod to tell me. By the way. Cause sounds a little bit important. Yeah. With this game. I mean, very important. Now, like, now they can barely hear the game. So now turn it up in OBS. That's a prime out. I know. Yeah, I know. You gotta get it just right. <clears throat> gotta get it just right. And we did our sound check with. Uh, I did uh, my sound recording with Spelunky. Okay. Now. Now everything should be good. Are we good to go? Now we gotta give it a second. Uh -oh. I'm sorry, Master Twig. I stopped playing Spelunky. It's Necro Dancer time. Sound good. Okay, I, I hear a sound good from Mall. All Radical. right. And that guy's radical. <laughs> He's Mall Radical. <laughs> <clears throat> Here we go. All right. So, jump right into the daily challenge. The daily challenge is. The, every every day, there's one one level. Mm -hmm. It's the same for everybody who plays it. Right. You only get one chance to play it. Right. And you get ranked compared to everybody else. I think that's great. I think. I mean, do you want to warm up a little first? Ah, you... fuck it. We're going right into it. <laughs> so, Rich, are you like physically incapable of moving out of beat with the music? Yes. Okay. Actually, there's some special items that let you do it. But. And it throws you, if, when you get those items, it usually just throws you off, and I avoid it. Okay. And, and so then, if you try to move outside of the music, that's when you lose your multiplier. But you don't move. You know? Okay. And then you'll see the disco dance floor go away. Nice. Alright. There's nothing too exciting in the shop. 
But money is always ooh. What? what? Right, I'm gonna focus on game. Oh no! I just see yes. Jack plays keyboard. What? Do we take a chance? We're taking a chance! <laughs> oh my god. You guys are saying it's too much. Where's our, where's a mom? Where's a mom? No, she's too up. I'm in the groove now. I can't stop. No, groove. that's not gonna. That's groove. not gonna happen. Can't stop. Won't stop. Groove. Can't just stop like, for the beat. Just like Taysway. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to the Taylor Swift uh, Twitch stream. Um, I'm a big fan of Taysway. <laughs> what are the lyrics in that Shake It Off song? Can't stop. Won't stop. Grooving. I think that's it. Can't stop. Won't stop grooving. It's like I'm moving. It's like there's music. It's like there's music. In my mind. In my mind. Saying it's gonna be alright. And the haters gonna hate, hate, hate. <laughs> we can Shit. stop now. Shit! But <laughs> we can definitely stop now. Oh, this isn't Splunky. You're right. I need to update the stream. Thank you. You said you Splunky. to the Taylor Swift stream. Didn't you say Splunky and Necrodancer? Right yeah, now? but it, but uh, right now it says we're still playing Splunky. Oh. Then Necrodancer, uh. then Teddy Sway. <laughs> is there a Taylor Swift video game? Oh my god, is there a Taylor Swift video game? Chat! <laughs> <laughs> Some piece of shit fan-made thing that exists in the, the dark corners of the internet somewhere. Either find it or make it. I want to play the Shake It Off game. <laughs> Clockwork Stalin says, Hey Jay, where is my shirt, you hack? Uh, did you order one? That's the good the, the first question. If you did and you haven't received one, send an email to contact at redlettermedia.com. Or go fuck yourself. <laughs> you could do that in addition to sending an email. Not not everybody gets what they want in life. <laughs> Even if they pay for Even it. Even if you paid for it. Don't you know lessons of life? <laughs> no, but yeah, if you if you ordered one and it hasn't arrived, uh, s send us an email. Yeah. Preferably with an order confirmation number. Yeah. I'm not doing good. Maybe I should have warmed up. I, just, I think you should have warmed up. Uh, oh, and for I, I see someone asking if I really like Taylor Swift or if I'm being ironic about my tastes. Uh, Jack, I, Jack I, likes Taylor both. Swift. I legitimately enjoy Shake It Off as a song. I hate the lyrics. They're completely stupid. Well, of course. Um, it's got a nice little beat. It's a catchy song. Yeah. The lyrics are insanely dumb. Yeah. I unironically super enjoy girl-led pop music. Taysway. <laughs> um, uh, Katy Perry. Kesha. Unironically love all of their hits. Kesha. Talk about dumb lyrics. Kesha is the worst. She's the worst. She is the worst. If by worst you mean awesome. <laughs> Starting the party anthem. I think it just means worst. <laughs> I, I do mean worst. <laughs> I really like it. Um, Alright. Things are looking good. Because I, I like, you know, that kind of dumb simplicity. I also, unironically, like the Because it's really great to turn the brain off for like two hours. <sighs> There can be good romantic comedies. There can be. But I, I don't watch the shitty ones. I don't really watch the good ones either, but I've seen some. When Harry and Sally is just a good movie. That is a good movie. I agree. Oh my god. You got to see all the enemies? Yeah. yeah. That's, a good one. That's a tough one. Yeah, brush my teeth with a bottle of Jack. That's the same song where she says, like, she won't dance with dudes unless they look like Mick Jagger, which doesn't make any sense because Mick Jagger looks like a corpse. What yes. the fuck? She just needed something that rhymes with have swagger. A subscriber, and I can't see who it is. Right I now. see who it is. Jack loves Call of Duty. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> 
No, if listen, if you want to spend that money on a joke, I'm going to pay. But seriously. <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh my lord! What, what happened? Oh, I fought an ice dragon and some monkeys and a whole bunch of things, uh -huh. and it went very well for me. Oh well, congratulations! Congratulations on your sick moves. That was pretty sick. If you were watching, Jack. I, I wasn't. I was... Sick moves, you say? Yes. You, you could be getting down to this sick beat. Also, that's a that's a, a line that Taylor Swift wrote and put the song. Can we talk about like how weird that? Section of this oh god, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> Why would she do that? Because she does write her own songs, right? I, I know she used to, because every song was just about how boys are mean to her, but I don't know if she still does or if she's like too too big for that now. Because <laughs> that song is just the worst lyric. Just the worst. <laughs> just the worst. The music, the music is incredibly catchy. Yes. So, if that was the person, oh, helmet or shovel? Ooh. Helmet, I think sometimes gets you into trouble. Helmet gets you into trouble, and if you come across the uh, defense helmet, you're gonna ditch it right away. Yeah. So shovel. Uh, oh, I don't want those boots. Oh, I got better boots. Okay, Jay. Can I please ask you for a movie suggestion? I've watched Zap, Things, and Bloodshot. Oh, so what's next? I guess if you're looking for bad movie suggestions? Um... Hmm. Zap, Things, and Bloodshot? Well, there's Rotor. Ooh. If you haven't seen Rotor. If that's what you're asking for is, like, good bad movies. Rotor, uh, Miami Connection. Well, let's assume stuff, you know, because Zap... Things and Bloodjack have not appeared on Rest of the World. No, that was on Half in the Bag. And did you talk about Things on Half Things was on Half in the Bag. Sure. Let's, let's see, let's see maybe non Best of the Worst bad movies. Um, ooh, that's harder. Did you guys watch Terror and Beverly Hills? We did, yeah. But that is definitely one. If you have not seen Terror and Beverly, Terror and Beverly Hills, is pretty no! fantastic. No! Oh, you died at the combo line of death? Yeah! Sorry. Alright. <laughs> If, you, if you've not seen the Basket Case films, I would recommend those. Mm -hmm. I like those a lot. My rank is 85th. 85th? That's kind of sad. It must be a recent daily channel. It must have just went up. What? This might be like... It might have only been up for like an hour or so. You know, the, the challenge. The daily challenge? Yeah. It might have just recently refreshed. That's why I'm still relatively high. Oh, I was going to say that's relatively high. 85? 85? Well, I don't know what kind of numbers I usually get. But... Well, what was 6,000? Four hundred. Eighty-five seems too high. Is what I'm saying. I should be lower than eighty-five. Oh, I get it. I get it. Rank. That's the rank for everybody. Right. Yeah. Maybe it doesn't have that big of a player base yet. Oh yeah, two hours. Twenty-two hours till the next one. Oh okay. Okay, I'm with you. All right. What was the name of the uh, the Wisconsin movie that you streamed? Uh, Bloodbeat. 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 That one really fun. Bloodbeat is the best thing. <laughs> so I have mean. I have the contact information for the director now. I'm scared. I'm scared to email him. I haven't done it yet. <laughs> Do it already. <laughs> what playing. if he does give you permission to make a movie? Then I'm making Bloodbeat. Oh, <laughs> look at this. Ooh, nice. Plan it for next winter. Yep. Cause we gotta film it in the winter. So, are you planning on make, uh, trying to do like trying to do it justice, or trying to like make it into the movie? Well, that's to... the same thing, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> like, I want to make because I can I can picture it. I want to just make like this, this this completely surreal movie about a family getting together for Christmas and then being attacked by a samurai ghost. <laughs> I can pick, and then not try and like not make it funny. Like I, I would take it seriously. Like I have, have a, thing a in my subscriber. Brain. Thank you for playing Space Cop. Can you read that when I'm when I'm not 
um, gameplay. You just kept talking. You didn't give me. A sorry, <laughs> sorry. No, no, that's all on me. That's all on me. <laughs> this guy needs the thanks, goddammit, and I'm I'm necro dancing. <laughs> Thank you for playing Space Cop. Thank you for subscribing. <laughs> Thank you for playing Space Cop. Is their name? Yeah. That makes no sense at all. Someday it will. Yeah. When we actually release Space Cop, I guess. God damn. Game. Uh, yes, and when Jay remakes Bloodbeat, Rich Evans will play the Ghost of Samurai. Absolutely. No, no I, I have, when I remake Bloodbeat, none of the Red Letter Media regulars will be in it. That's probably. So <laughs> will this be an entirely separate Jay project then? Probably, yeah, because I think I'm the only one that would care. <laughs> Jay, I will help produce it for you. Okay. How about Actually, I want to shoot it at where we shot. Uh, Dock of the Dead stuff, that farm? Yeah. That's like the perfect location. That is the perfect location. So. And they're very easily accessible. Okay. Easily accessible. Everything's coming up Millhouse. There you go. I just have to work up the nerve to email the director. Uh, even if you want, I have an even better location. Oh. Okay. We will discuss this later. <laughs> <laughs> Any plans for a Space Cop video game? No comment. You never know. Here's what I can tell you. We don't make video games. We make videos. How many more years until Space Cop gets released? Uh, tomorrow it's getting released. Oh my god, it's you weren't supposed to tell them. It's, oh, oh, I wasn't? The, the export won't be ready in time, Jay. <laughs> We're just uploading it to YouTube. Yeah. Um. But it, it, already, it said it's going to take... 30 hours to export. So, oh, no. So not tomorrow, but the day Okay, after. the day after tomorrow it'll be out. Yeah. You know, we have made some significant milestones on Space Cop lately. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is Space Cop week. Nothing but Space Cop we're working on this week. Oh, uh, Jay, they want you to talk about a movie that apparently you talked about called Possession. Oh, oh my God. Possession. Possession is the best thing. Yeah? It's the best movie ever. What is it? It's from 1981. It's, I've heard about it for years now, but I've never. I just finally saw it the other day, and okay. I flipped out on on Twitter about it because <laughs> it's the most. It's the best movie ever made. Okay. <laughs> it's one of my favorite movies now, and I've only watched it once, but I want to watch it again. All right. Uh, it's from 1981. It stars Sam Neill, who's in Jurassic Park. Oh, sure. He's the lead guy in it. What's his name in Jurassic Park? Um, Alan Grant. Alan Grant. Yeah. It's it's him and Isabella Johnny, who people might know from his star. <laughs> <laughs> or more specifically, from the Ishtar trailer. Yes. Uh, but it takes place right around the Berlin Wall. Like, literally, the, like one of the main locations for the movie, they're out on the balcony. Of it, and the Berlin Wall is right there. Okay. But it's just about the disintegration of this marriage. So, like, to the point where this, this couple, it's Sam Neill and Isabella Johnny, where it's like, every time they have to have a conversation just devolves into them screaming at each other. Okay. Like, like just violently screaming. Um, in a way that would only happen with someone that you once loved. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's so great. Uh -huh. Like the first scene of the movie is them mid argument. Like he he he's uh, he works. I think he works for the government. Oh, yeah. This is like you know the height of the Cold War. Right. Um, and he's just coming home from from wherever he's been. He's been away for a while. And his cab pulls up. Isabella Johnny's outside. And he gets out of the cab. And he walks up to her. And they continue to have an argument that they must have started before the movie happened, like over the phone. <laughs> so it starts with that, and it's them just screaming at each other, and they have the son, and, and uh, it, it gets revealed that she is seeing somebody else, and it's just scene after scene of them screaming at each other, uh -huh. trying to reconcile, screaming some more, and as it goes along, you start to, like, it gets more and more, like, violent, not physically violent, but just, like, they're so brutal to each other. And then... After a while, it starts to kind of feel like maybe there's something more going on with these people. Maybe there's something more wrong. Yeah. And there is. I don't want to give too much away, but there's this scene. I guess this is kind of the most famous scene in the movie. Isabella Johnny should win every award ever for acting in this movie. Okay. She should win the Academy Award this year for Best Actress for a movie she made in 1981. <laughs> and win it every year. There's a scene where she's in a subway tunnel, and she's trying to basically exercise... All this, this evil and this frustration and hatred she has for her husband. And she's flailing around this subway and just like screaming and like like contorting her body and just flipping out. And 
I'm getting too much into it. She basically creates this physical entity that started as her trying to exercise all of this 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 bad mojo. And like she, they show her on the ground, and like pus starts coming out of her ears, and, and like blood starts coming out from between her legs, and all this pus and stuff forms a new life, and then it gets darker and weirder from there. It is the best movie. It's the best thing ever. You've just and, it's, me. and it's so beautifully shot. Like the whole movie seems to be wide angle lenses, lots of really wide shots, full body shots. And it's just like constantly sweeping around everybody. It is it is gorgeous. It's so great. I'm I'm obsessed with it now. I need to, to do some more research on it. There's the Blu-ray I got has a commentary and stuff, so I gotta watch that. It's oh it's so fucking good. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to track down. Like, it's out of print. There was a DVD release years ago that's out of print. There's a Blu-ray that's out of print. I found, uh, there's a company called Mondo Vision, which I never heard of, but they made, like, a limited Blu-ray run of it. Well, there's Mondo Tees, like, and they do, like, posters. They do, like, new prints and stuff. Okay. I don't think that's related to Mondo Vision, but I could be wrong. Mondo Vision sounds incredibly they, they maybe they've re I'm not familiar with them, but maybe they've released other stuff. But their Blu-ray of Possession uh, is great. It's always like out of stock on Amazon yeah. because it was like a limited run. But I must have been there at the right time. I like, got a copy of it. So. That's great. Did you did you think about this only because Ishtar was so fresh on your mind and her name was so fresh? No, no, I didn't even make the connection until someone because I was posting on Twitter that I was going to watch it and yeah. somebody else mentioned it. It was like, oh yeah, she's an Ishtar. <laughs> it's completely unrelated. <laughs> But yeah, her. I was talking about the girl from Starry Eyes earlier. But the same thing. Where it's just the performance is just fearless. That's like, great. oh, she's so good in it. <laughs> That's great. Mm -hmm. That's a, well. Someone posted a link to like an interview with her, Isabella. Isabella and Johnny. Isabella and Johnny, and she was saying that some producer, whoever the producer was that tanked Ishtar, also tanked her career. Oh, really? Yeah, because, like, she was known for being in this huge flop. Mm -hmm. And didn't do much of it. So, yeah. <laughs> because some producer had a beef with Warren Baby, which meant she was in flop. Wait, the movie was intentionally tanked? That's what the rumor is. Really? Is that a producer was having a beef with Warren Beatty, so oh. he intentionally did not do a good job advertising it. Okay. Didn't feel like was fucking around on the set. Is hmm. the rumor. Interesting. <laughs> it all comes back to Ishtar. <laughs> and Rich. Uh, how many bosses are in this game? There's one kind of mini boss. Three currently, but when it's done, there will be four, I believe. Yeah, there's one boss for every level. It's like a mini boss. So each level has its boss, and every zone has a big boss. So you just saw the condo <laughs> item, that's a big boss. There's also a rock and roll. Well, let me let him see it for himself, you, 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 you jerk! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, people are saying to turn down the game audio. Yeah, okay. oh, shit. We could just talk louder. <laughs> I hope they can hear me talk about Possession, the best movie ever. Hopefully, I think. I mean, I can, um... I can double check for us, by the way. I have the power to check for myself. Audio levels. Checking now! Oh, my, my brother's filming this one. got to refresh my <laughs> You feel me? You dig it? <laughs> Apple R up in here. Is it better than Psycho 2? That's a random movie to bring up. Somebody, somebody just might be looking for a segue. I it's guess. an awkward, clumsy segue. They want to hear about Psycho 2. Psycho 2 is pretty good. I like Psycho 2. I like Psycho 3 as well.
There we go. It's the audio fixed. Uh, I mean, you can hear us. We're we're a little low. We're Jay and I are a little farther away from our microphones than oh. Rich was. Uh, Rich I, is. I can fix that, I guess. So we can just move closer to our microphones. I also turned us up a little bit because I have that power to do so individually. What? That's amazing. Oh my god. I had to. I had to use this for for the shoot. I did last weekend. Yeah. For some quick audio stuff and just like having that <laughs> control. Yeah. Oh, it's so hot. Yeah, we might have to get one of those. Yeah. The H6. Zoom H6. Highly recommended. Audio is good now. Thank you, John. Wonderful. You never move a hot mic. Eh, what? Get out of here. Get out of here. Jay's sweet voice is so loud now. Is it? Of course it is. Whatever. You're welcome! <laughs> that might have hurt. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh my god, what's going on? What? What? Uh, oh, oh, they're all hearing me <laughs> scream into the mic now. Sorry, guys. We were just having fun. We were just having fun. Does fun mean hurting other people's ears to you? Uh, Absolutely. Oh, well, okay then. Well, in that case. <laughs> my, my idea of fun is annoying people. Um, we're working on sound production. We are fine-tuning our sound all the time to find yeah. that perfect sweet spot between game audio and our mic audio. And it's all, it seems to always be changing depending on the game you're playing. But that's the so. that's the real problem, is there's no consistent output from the game. Jay, are, are you secretly the most hateful person in our audience? <laughs> I'm not hateful. You just screamed in our audience's ear. I did that for my own amusement. It wasn't out of hatred. Exactly! That's evil! Is what that is. Well, wanting, wanting to bug people isn't the same as being evil. Ah! It can be evil. I don't I don't do it to be evil. He says there's there's a difference between evil and ribbing yes. and evil. Evil and mirth are different things. Mirth? Is mirth the right word? It might be. Define mm. define mirth. Um, mir mirth is like causing trouble. Oh, okay. Right? No, mirth is like laughter. Fun. Good mirth? Story. I thought, like, merriment and mirth. I thought that was my team. Maybe I'm thinking of a different word. Well, you know what? I, it's, <laughs> I, I might computer. be completely wrong here. Right in front of me. Mirth? M-I-R-T-H. I -R -T -H. can't believe you people are looking up mirth. I'm looking up mirth. I may, there might be a different word I'm trying to think of, and I'm mistaking it for mirth at the moment. Mirth is amusement, especially as expressed in laughter. Oh, okay. So well, I'm I, doing it for my amusement. So I am right and you are wrong? Is that what you said? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm definitely doing it for mirth on my end, then, because it amuses me to annoy people. Mirth just means happy. Like okay. Well, I'm, I might be thinking of a different word, and I don't know what word I'm, I'm thinking of. Oh, well. Whatever. Anyway, Isabella Johnny in possession. Yeah. So fucking good. You, I, you know what? I was on the fence because I just thought it might be like a, a drama. And uh, no, it's the best. I mean, it's not really a horror movie. The horror elements are more metaphorical, but right. it is like the best kind. Of, like I love horror movies where they're more character dramas that have horror elements to them. Like you know something like The Exorcist, and that's definitely this. Oh great! Plus, it's got an awesome creature in it. Oh, it's so good. Sure, where the horror just adds to the... the, the yeah, yeah, the you start, that. like, being invested in these characters, right. and then the horror works its way in. I, said, I mean, most modern movies, it's all about, like, the, the demon, and then the characters just happen to be... Right, right. Yeah, okay. A good recent movie uh, that's a positive example of that is The Babadook from Australia. I don't know if you've heard of that one. That sounds like you just made it up right now. No, no, it's a dumb title. Not dumb, it's a weird title, but that's the name of the creature in the movie. But that's, it's very much, it's the relationship between this woman and her, her small child. Oh, okay. It's the most annoying child I've ever seen in a movie, and I mean that in a good way, because it feels like a real child. <laughs> it's not a movie child. <laughs> okay. So, it's a good movie. Wait, what's it called again? The Babadook. It's Australian. I, I think it's Australian. That's it. It sounds. It sounds good. I know. Well, it's like a. It's like the character, the the creature, of the Babadook is like a, like a children's storybook character. Sure. That's why it's called that. Like the boogeyman. Like the boogeyman. The yeah. Babadook. When you say the boogeyman, it sounds silly. It does. So. 
The Babadook, I want to say, sounds sillier, but I'm not Australian, so maybe that's <laughs> It could be a cultural thing. Could be a cultural thing. You know, people have heard of that. People are saying it's great. Yeah, it's, it was a bigger independent horror movie from this last year. Oh, uh, I'm a fucking dragon. Yes, this game is uh, is the Tasteway game. <laughs> Actually, your character kind of looks like Tasteway a bit. <laughs> Not long enough legs. <laughs> Tasteway has the longest fucking legs. They go up to her chin. Gabagoo, right? That's exactly what like Baba is. Gabagoo, <laughs> Gabagoo, Paul Blart, Mal Blart. <laughs> Just say gibberish. Did you edit that episode, by the way? No, Mike edited that. <laughs> We did a second take, because I, I just sent that off the cuff, and Mike started laughing. We did a second take, but Mike used the first one, where you can hear him laughing in the background. And see you start laughing. Yeah. Yeah, we were laughing a lot. We just That was the point where we just started making up movies that were yeah. being remade. Yeah. <laughs> also, were you green-screened? Why did you look mm. so... It, it, your background looked green-screened. Really? Yeah. No, we weren't green-screened. We were really just on the set. Off. Huh. Interesting. I'm going to have to rewatch it. All I kept thinking is, like, why did they put Jane in green screen? I think we've talked about doing a whole episode where we're green screens onto the set just to see if anyone would comment on it. We've never done it though. <laughs> I like that idea. I agree. The fuck you, it's January video. It was funny, chat. I watched that. On, on YouTube on, on the Roku, and Lisa was in the other room, and I was just like, oh, oh the guy put up a, a Fuck You, It's January video, and I had to explain to her. She's not a movie person. Okay. So I had to explain to her what Fuck You, It's January The January is the dumping ground. Yep. And she was like, okay, and I was like, so this this video might be weird. <laughs> she gave me that look she gives me when it's like, this is, you shouldn't have shown me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the appropriate response. Absolutely. I did learn, though, I saw some people commenting that apparently in other countries, January is actually the year, or the, the month that other countries get a lot of the big, like, American Oscar bait movies, like the movies that come out in, like, November, December. Sure. They don't get them till January. So the fuck you, it's January doesn't translate to other countries, apparently. Oh, that's so weird. Yeah. I thought that was interesting. Hmm. So they... Because in order to be... In order to be eligible for an Oscar, you only have to be in certain theaters for well, a it's certain a, it's a, of time. It's a U.S. thing. It's a U.S. You know. thing. Yeah. Oh, no, but there are restrictions. Like, if your movie wasn't released in theaters, you can't be Oh, okay, sure. But you have to be released in, like, only one theater for a week. Oh, is that all it takes? That's all it takes. I don't That's really it. pay much attention. So. It's a very strange rule, and it's it's in L.A. Like, it's an L.A. theater. Okay. Very specific rules. Huh. And so... Perhaps they don't release it worldwide, so they don't need to pay for the publicity yet. But then, if they get if they win an Oscar, that's free publicity for mm. another country release. Well, the Oscars don't happen till well after January, though. Why did the that's just the cutoff. Happen? They're they're. Did that just happen? That was the Golden Globes. It oh. just happened. Oh. It doesn't matter. Who cares? Right. People were tweeting at us like, "What do you think about Boyhood winning the Golden Globes?" It's like I don't care. <laughs> it doesn't make any difference to me. <laughs> what wins what award? Right. Unless it's Isabella Johnny winning Best Actress. That means it's officially the best movie ever made. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I've heard that about that. <laughs> From you guys. It is the best movie ever made. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Please keep playing this. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. I hope that's the same person that subscribed last time as Stop Playing Stop This. Stop Playing Call of Duty. That would be great. Yes. Um... I mean, we will. And also, thank you for subscribing. We very much appreciate it. <laughs> oh, Rich, you kind of... Oh! What did you have? A meat? Yeah. Oh, you're fine. Then you're fine. I'm trying to determine if it was sarcastic, that uh, comment. That wasn't a comment. That was a subscriber. That's, I mean, yeah, a subscriber. I don't know if someone wanted to pay $5 just to be sarcastic. <laughs> if they're not directly making fun of us... Oh, I, mean, what? I, can, I can see... You, don't, you don't know if they'd pay $5 just to be sarcastic. Stop playing this game last night? Sure they would. That wasn't sarcastic though. I think they genuinely, they genuinely wanted you to stop playing it, yeah. right? 
That's what I believe. What the fuck? Well, all right, you're fine, fine. But like, and, and you know, there are other people who are just like, you know, uh, you know, Jack is a doofus. Thank you for subscribing. <laughs> That's generally, genuinely making fun of us, and so like, I'm okay with. I would be okay spending five dollars to like have someone read that. I think. <laughs> okay. So that makes sense to me. I think here the sarcasm would be hard, hard enough to read where I don't think they would do that. Oh, we had another one too. Um, Jessinator. Thank you for subscribing. We very much appreciate it. It doesn't sound all the time the alert. Why is that? I thought I heard it that time. Um, I, I don't know. Is the real question? Is the real answer to that question? Just turn this on. Are there mechanics related to the music or something? Oh, yes. Uh, there are. So what happens in this game is, if you see right now, there's a disco dance floor going on. So if Rich moves and attacks in beat to the music, you see that little heart pumping on the bottom, the disco dance floor keeps going on, and it adds to his coin multiplier. Every time he kills an enemy, he gets a coin. So he is incented to keep in the rhythm so he can get more money, and then you can use that money in the shops to buy better weapons, buy health upgrades, magic potions, all that kind of stuff. Plus, you can only move uh, in beat, and so like keeping up that rhythm is just important for general. But but yeah, so the the rhythm attack mechanic uh, is kind of fun fundamental to the game. Also, thanks for coming. It's great. It's a great game. We love it. Yeah, Rich knows he can bomb the shop wall. He's just exploring. Settle down. Oh, well, you know, I don't necessarily need anything they have in that shop. No, honestly. yeah, also he doesn't need to bomb the shop I'd rather wall. rather hold on to my bombs for a rainy day. Actually, yeah, I absolutely. might... Uh, yeah, go Jesus worth it then. I don't need the money sword, though. No. Oh, you had a trans... You had a uh, transmogrify yeah. style, or whatever they call that? Those are handy. Yeah. Yeah. Did I say music? I might have. Music? The music is... that what is, cows listen to? The music is so good, what guys. Fuck? Do we have a subscriber? Do we have a subscriber? Whiskey Ranger. Thank you for subscribing. We very much appreciate it. Also, I will be doing the rest of the stream in this voice. <laughs> what did that get you? Eh, blood sore. I already got the blood whip. Yeah, you like that blood whip. Yeah. You're a fan of the whip. I don't like the whip. I don't understand how... It's got reach. Better items. Also, this is our favorite part of the game, is how the shopkeeper sings along with the songs. It's adorable. Ah, fuck it. Solid baked. I know that's part of the bingo, so I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> fuck you. Does it count if I answer it? I didn't see what it was. But... <laughs> it does count if you answer it. I oh. think it's any of us talking about it. Oh, okay. Oh, what did you see? Oh, I was just looking at the question. Oh, okay. I didn't know if it was specifically you had to. Um, oh yeah, actually, I think it is specific because if it's rich, it says something negative, or if I say something positive about the state in which we live. Oh, I see. That's yeah, okay. Wisconsin's okay. Eh. Actually, no. Milwaukee's okay. I'm not even gonna say the rest of the state because there's nothing there. The rest of the state's fine if you like pastures and. And dirt roads. Well, Meeble Meeble says, I have now unsubbed. I suggest you listen to your subscribers when they ask you to slow the chatter. Set it to subs only. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, well, our lesson has been suitably learned. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well oh, I was going to be less bitchy about it. but <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Meeble Meeble. I, you know what? Probably because it wasn't in subscriber only mode. I didn't see that complaint. But I apologize. If you feel like you have to unsubscribe, though, I... That's that's your choice. What 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 was the problem? Um, it because it's not in sub only mode. I I'm not seeing everybody's comment. Oh but well, you don't see everyone's comments regardless. Yeah, you know that happens sometimes. Uh, We're chatting here. We're playing the game. We'll I'm keep an eye on the chat. But no, there, you know what? Meeple, meeple, no hard feelings. It's your yeah. That's your choice. Do, do what you do, bud. buddy. <laughs> Yeah. God, these shops are all crap. 
Oh, I got the transmogrify though. The transmogrify. I don't know if that's exactly what it's called, but I still like it. <laughs> Might be just transmogrify. Oh yeah! 1.5 defense. Nice. 60 bucks. 60 bucks. That's beautiful. I am too nice for the internet. It's true. <laughs> I'm just a reasonable person. That's gonna be fun. Is there an option to put the chat in fast mode? <laughs> can we do that? So we only you, have get, you get kicked out unless you type something in every <laughs> 10 seconds. <laughs> I think that's beautiful. Oh, well, I, I didn't need to use a bomb for that. <laughs> whiplash. Uh, yeah, I've seen a couple of people ask about Whiplash. I have not seen Whiplash. What is it? It's a movie about drumming. Oh. J.K. Simmons is supposed to be really great in it. I haven't seen it yet. I, you know what? All I saw was someone making fun of it. Mm. Um, apparently, like he's a, a music teacher. He's like a really intense like, teacher. Yeah. Music teacher or something. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen it. I, I like J.K. Simmons. He's good. You're floating in everything. <laughs> Saved. Saved by the cheese. Oh my god, what? Is this becoming a big issue now about the speed of the chat? Uh, apparently. You what? know what? You can't please everybody. You, you put it in slow it. mode, people will be upset. You keep it in normal mode, yeah. some other people will be upset. You just gotta Moderators go with your heart. Don't worry about it. Go with your heart. Yeah. We we trust our moderators. If they feel like the chat is going by too fast, they put it in slow mode. You know. Don't worry about nothing, guys. Everybody, everybody just be cool, be cool with everybody. Be cool about fire safety. Also, be cool about fire safety. Did you guys see the Necrodancer episode? Don't be a dick. That's my, that's my rule. <laughs> that's the one rule. That's the one rule. <laughs> this, this. Oh my god, a potion and everything. Rich is gonna do it. Go with your heart. <laughs> what does your heart tell you? I'm quoting a movie and I don't even know what movie I'm quoting. That sounds like a movie. It's somebody that has like an a British accent, I think. What does your heart? What does your heart tell? What am I? What is that? It's Hugh Grant in. No, it's a lady. What does your heart? Tell? What does your heart tell you? Is that Finding Shit. Neverland? Shit! <laughs> what? I've never even seen that. Didn't you see that with Johnny Depp? No. It's really bad. I'm sure it is. It's um. Shit! What movie is that? I can I can picture. Don't you hate that? Like I can yes. see it in my brain. Is it Titanic? It's not Titanic. <laughs> Is it, uh, what other movie is that lady from Titanic and Finding Neverland in? <laughs> is it I, I, is I don't it know what you're talking about. Kate Beckinsale? Kate Winslow? Almost Kate, perfect. Carl, Kate Blanchett in Lord of the Rings? Maybe? I don't know. Is it Carl Winslow? It's Paul Blart Malblop. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the funniest fucking things I've ever heard. Oh, fuck! Phantom Menace! They're right! That's Hi. Shmi! That's Anakin's mom in Phantom Menace! <laughs> Oh my god! I just coded uh, a line from Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. Jesus Christ! And I, did, I couldn't remember what it was. That's beautiful. <laughs> wow. It's like poetry. That's beautiful. <laughs> it's just in my brain. It's just back there somewhere, waiting to come out at times like this. <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> That's nuts. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. I'm, I'm sure it isn't a bunch of movies, but specifically, I was envisioning Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. <laughs> um, user two seven seven two two one. Thank you for subscribing. We very much appreciate it. Oh no! Why is there a coaster on top of another coaster? That's a good question, Jim. That's a good question. What the fuck? This is madness. This is unacceptable. That's all right. Uh, G Riff, thank you for subscribing. What? I'm just trying to get weirder with everyone. 
For the record, I just spilt my drink on the keyboard because there was a coaster sitting on top of another coaster precariously. Eh. We gotta get you a new keyboard. Hopefully, it might still be okay. It's probably okay. It's probably okay, but you know, like, I think you, uh, you'd hate it if any like the keys stuck. They get on sticky. It. Like, yeah. Yuck. Doing better with the wind boots. All right. Right call, but I made it. Wing boots? Yeah, over the over the extra damage boots. Ooh. Hey, you know. Oh, a drum. Fuck that drum. Oh. Fuck that drum. <coughs> what a roller coaster. Was it a roller coaster? Oh, I get it. Oh. oh That's what? okay. I don't get it. Did somebody <laughs> explain it to me? <laughs> oh, wait, what? Jesse Nader? Jessinator says, Jack, I'm serious. I want to give you a cinema display. I don't need it anymore. What do you mean, a cinema display? <laughs> I, I'll take stuff. What do you want? <laughs> I'll take stuff. What's the cinema? Is it a projector? <laughs> Jessinator? Send me a message, dog. Do what's in your heart. What does your heart tell you? I wish I could imitate Shmi. Shmi? I would be saying that all the time if I could do her accent perfectly. Her name is Shmi. Shmi? Shmi. That sounds like something out of Shmi. No, it's Shmi. The accent was slightly different than the way you're saying it. No, no, it's Shmi. Shmi. That's true. I'll take stuff. That's my. I'll take stuff. That's my. That's my general rule in life. Is I'll take stuff. Since Jack doesn't know what it is. Well, you just say cinema display. That could mean a lot of things. Now I'm waiting to see what it is. Shmi. It's Shmi. Shmi. Or they're saying Sheev. No, Sheev is uh, what came out as what George Lucas had always pictured Palpatine's first name being. That he just made up. He, that he just himself. made up for no reason recently. Sheev. Um, I guess his name would have been Sheev. <laughs> Thanks, George. <laughs> Ooh, stuff has value. I agree. Stuff does have value. I like stuff. No one's telling me what a cinema display is yet. Is it a TV or a computer monitor? Computer monitor, I'll take it. <laughs> Mine's a piece of shit. Yeah. yeah. These are all things. I'm just trying to be nice and give back. I, I will take it. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want to give us? Because we'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> or not? I don't know. Is it too big to ship? Then don't. Then don't worry about it. I'm assuming if it's some sort of monitor, it's probably expensive to ship, probably and you might not want to, to to do that. No, no, don't. If, if it'll cost you money to ship it, no, get rid of it on the Craigslist or the Ebay. You make yourself some money. We we're good here, but we appreciate it. If it, I, like, if it was like a game or something, we take games. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I mentioned this on your stream the other day. I have a stack of DVDs. That I want to get rid of. So if you want, if you need giveaway items, it's more complicated than games because you have to physically mail them. But yeah. we'll do it. We'll but I got a stack of stuff. It's okay. things that I've either upgraded to Blu-ray or someone got me as a gift and I already had it. Okay. So a whole bunch of stuff. Our next, uh, our next great gift giveaway stream. It'll be my old DVDs. It'll be Jay's old stuff. <laughs> <laughs> There's some good ones in there though. Ooh, good. I like it. It's like I, I it was stacking up, and I was like, eventually I'll sell these, but it's like they're worthless now. DVDs are worthless, so it's not even worth the, the effort to sell them. I'll get like ten bucks. Great. We'll do it. It'll be great. It'll be great and awesome, and everything. Will, and everything. Will be great. That's great. And yeah, Jessinator, just email me. We'll talk about it. Yeah, oh yeah, no, most of Jay's DVDs are porn. You're right. <laughs> but it's the good porn. It's the tasteful stuff, you, you know, know, where there's a little story going on. That's the thing. It's not just it's not just flapping skin <laughs> and moaning ladies. It's, you know, like 
<laughs> I think uh, it's also called erotica. <laughs> erotica. 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 Mm. That sounds like a country in Africa. <laughs> I hail from erotica. <laughs> That actually sounds like a country someone would be in if they were in a porno. Yeah. yeah. I am from the planet Eratika. <laughs> I need to repopulate. <laughs> I, I need to stop. Right. <laughs> Flapping skin sluts five, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> was it was that the best of the worst movie we watched that had the really awkward sex scene and you described it as like two wet Turkey breasts or yeah, something? Like pieces of roast. Two, yeah. two pieces of I, uh, turkey meat. I don't remember what you said, but it was funny. Yeah. I described it similarly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am from Erogenous 5. Exactly. <laughs> Sci fi porno. You know it's out there. <laughs> oh, of course. Everything's out there. Everything is out there. Everything is everything. Everything is possible. What'd you do? These guys are just obnoxious. Yeah. Oh, they had like showing things. Yeah. Oh, this is the heavy metal boss. Yeah. Oh, he's great. Guys, this is the heavy metal boss. He's great. He has a heavy metal song. Oh, cool. Uh, I would I would describe him as baller. <laughs> Dude, this is as far as you can get in the game right now, so we beat it. We did it. We got a subscriber! And we got a subscriber! Tricky Ed! Thank you for subscribing. I'm gonna take a victory lap. <laughs> Why can't you get farther in the game? Oh, because it's not a finished game, yeah. right? Right. Uh, so, like, there will be more levels later, they just haven't made them yet. Take it, this is your victory lap? <laughs> yeah. Why are you playing an unfinished game? Because yeah. that's how <laughs> games are now, Jay. Oh. It is. You know, I'm going to say, though. What? <laughs> even if, if they didn't, if they did not finish this game, work stop in this game right now, Yeah. I would be saddened and disappointed, but I would not regret the purchase. Mm. And I would probably still continue to play it every now and then. You know what? I think you're right. Yeah. This is, uh... I would not let that deter me from trying this game out. I feel like I have already gotten my money's worth. Hmm. Uh, oh, actually, I haven't, because this game was gifted to me. But if <laughs> I had bought it, I feel like I would have gotten my money's worth, because it's a good game. Okay. I hope they finish it. Do we want to try another character, or do we want to try a different game? Uh, I did, uh, someone, uh... There's nine. Oh, it's only nine. That's great. Yeah. Someone tweeted, when I tweeted that we were doing Crypt of the Necrodancer, mm -hmm. someone uh, mentioned that they might want to see some more uh, Invisible Ink. Okay. Speaking of early access games that we've done on the show. So you wish, you wish to play some Invisible Ink? Maybe. All right. You know what? It's been a while. Let's do that. Sure. Let's take a break. We've been going for a couple hours. Let's take a break. Refresh um, any beverages that we have. Any beverages that people might have accidentally spilled all over their keyboards or whatever? <laughs> uh. <laughs> it only spilled a little bit. Hmm. Any chips that may have had to have fallen on the ground? Oh, this place is a disaster. Yeah, 50 Oh, so this game is $15, and... Um, kind of worth it, even it, though it's not done. Oh, wait, someone's saying there's a developer in the chat. Oh, my God, thank we, you for making this game. <laughs> if, yeah, I'm assuming they mean it's someone who worked on this game. Dev in chat? Who's the dev? Ryan Clark. Oh, hey, Ryan. What yo, yo, Ryan, what game? This game? They say dev. You gotta make sure what game. Or... Yeah. Could be any game. We don't know. I think Ryan Clark. Ryan Clark might be... Hi, Ryan Clark. Yes, I am the game's designer. Oh, my God. Hey! When is Zone 4 going to be done? <laughs> That's my question for you, man. When is Zone 4 going to be done? I, I love your game. We, Thank you. We've spoken highly of your game. We want to know when it's when Zone 4 is going to be done, and is there poss a possibility of getting this game on a mobile device? <laughs> I want this game on my, my phone. On my, my phone. On my phone. <laughs> and, and my Vita. My, my PS Vita. <laughs> <laughs> 
answer our questions. Or don't. We're, we're or tagging do. the chat for questions now. My, how right. the tables have turned. Zone 4 is coming uh, when we leave early access about two more months. Yay! Ooh, that's great. That's great. Mobile. Now answer me about mobile or else if, if you can't... <laughs> We're, we're asking the chat questions, and the chat is telling us that it's going to be out tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be out tomorrow. <laughs> okay, the, oh, a lot of people has have asked for mobile, and they're looking into other platforms as soon as the Steam launch is done. Hmm. Thank you. Um, that's great. Oh, yeah. Oh, also, uh, Ryan, when is the next Plinket review? <laughs> <laughs> Zone 4 will be released the same day as Space Cop? Yeah. Is that the plan? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Or the day after tomorrow. The day after tomorrow. Yeah. That's right. It has to render. That's right. But tomorrow, I'm not going to say you're going to get the Plinket review, but you're not going to that might be a Plinket review. You know what is coming tomorrow? Oh my god, what is coming tomorrow? I have decided I'm going to start a daily vlog on my YouTube channel. Because, you know, I got things to talk about. So I'm going to start a daily vlog, and it's going to be released the same time every day. Really? And it's just going to be talking about things. Oh my god! It'll be up on my YouTube channel tomorrow. Not sure if serious. <laughs> oh my god! And what's your YouTube channel? People should. Never I don't use even it. know what is my YouTube channel. I never use it. I think it's just. I think it's just Jay Bauman. I never use it. I haven't used it in forever. So now I'm using it for a, a vlog. A daily vlog. A daily vlog. <laughs> I see all these all these vlogs on YouTube. Yeah. These people they do these videos every day, and it's always super interesting. So I've decided that I want to get involved with this. Sure, absolutely. you know, you understand. So now, so, are you going to go full production or like just just standard webcam? You know, I'm I'm keeping it back. real. It's just yeah. going to be very low low tech. Yeah, and it's just going to be me talking about things. So. I think you keeping it real is very important. It is. It's very important. So, <laughs> so that'll be up. The first one will be up tomorrow. <laughs> I think that's great. That everyone check out um, YouTube slash jbauman dot corn. <laughs> 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 and you know that's great i think that's great i'm super looking forward to it instead of being called previously recorded we should have just been called misinformation <laughs> <laughs> no this this will seriously be up tomorrow okay. rich okay that's great i think you know what i always think that it's important to like try new things exactly exactly and so you try it i think that's great i think it's great and I'll, yeah, I'll keep it going until I feel like what's, I don't have anything else to say. And then what's your first topic? What are you talking what about? What the tomorrow? fuck? Well, I, I don't. I can't talk about that. It's a I daily thought... vlog. I'm going to shoot it tomorrow morning and then upload it immediately. Okay. So we have, we have a subscriber. Just off the cuff. That's off the great. cuff. I didn't see the name, but we have a subscriber. What? Someone. Oh, I, I, I see. heard of what the fuck. Ballman have my babies. Ballman or Ballman like my name? Ballman. Oh, okay. Isn't that what I said? I don't know. It sounded like you said bald man. I was doing my announcement. Bald man have my babies. Bald man have my babies. Hey. (laughs) In any case, thank you for subscribing. We very much appreciate that. I I hope you are aware that I can't have babies. Unless you mean that... Because you're a man. I I cannot have babies because I'm a man. Unless you're a woman and you're saying that... You know, you want to have the babies. Oh my god, look at the necro dancer emotes. Look at the necro dancer emotes. Oh my god. <laughs> That's great. Oh, thank you, Ryan Clark. Ryan Clark, what other games have you made? Is this your first game? What have you done besides this? I just want to chat at you. I was gonna I was ready to take a break. Now I just want to talk to you. <laughs> it's a little bit of both. Because I like because I like game dog. What did you say you wanted to play next? Check Invisible Ink, right? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do a little. Yeah, Invisible you, Ink. you keep chatting with 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 the dub with the dub with Ryan, and mm-hmm. I will. I'll get things set up. Have you tried, <laughs> Jay? Have you tried having babies? <laughs> you know I haven't. Incredibots, Professor Fizzwizzle. You could be lying to me, but I, I'll believe you. <laughs> As Professor Fizzwizzle sounds like a made-up game, which I'm sure you made up. Yeah, when everything that exists was made up by somebody. You, you got it. You got it. Jay. It's true. <laughs> he says this is his tenth game and his fourth IGF nominated game. That's great. 
I was testing Invisible Ink before launch. That's right, because, um... Clee, Clo, no, Clay. Clay, yeah. Clay, Clay helped out with Necrodancer. So I would, I would assume that you had some, they had some, or you, or you had some hand in Invisible Ink. That's great. That's great. And yes, you can add your own music to Crypt of the Necro Necrodancer. So if you want... I, I haven't tried doing that. You, we could play to shake it off. Because Rich has shake it off on his computer right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I, yeah I totally He's got the whole, the whole taste we way. Could, we could the whole it, album? The whole album. We could play to the theme of Airwolf. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> what is the theme to Airwolf? I never watched Airwolf. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Clay, Clay is great. Invisible Ink, Don't Starve, Shank. Yeah. Mark of the Ninja. What are these things you're saying right now? These are these names, are names of good games. Oh, okay. <laughs> names of good games, all made by the same guy. They're, they're, I see. They're an excellent developer. Okay. That that doesn't make large bloated 3D titles. Yeah. I see. They just make little 2D things, but they're all great. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Mm. I haven't had that much time into Don't Starve yet, but I've enjoyed a little bit of that so far. We're getting we're getting invisible ring ink, invisible yeah. ring. I have invisible not had rink? anything to drink. <laughs> you, you Maybe you should. We can, I can pause this. I, don't, I, can, I, I can turn the game to. capture off, and we can, you can get your drink. Do I what you want, need to do. I, I don't, want, you know what I whatever. want? I want some water. Well, let's take a break, and you can get some let's water. Take a break. Pause it for a little bit. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mute the streams. 